Hi, this is Chad Beverly and Garrett Reed, and we researched the first 100 days of FDR's presidency and what he accomplished during that time. And our thesis statement is below. The 100 days got its name because at the beginning of Roosevelt's presidency, the first 100 days of it, he made a flurry of changes for the better of American society. Uh, his three goals were relief, recovery, and reform, and he enacted many laws to put that into effect. The 100 days concept was not actually 100 days, but was very close, and it was a time where presidents are most effective because they just took office and are still very motivated to prove themselves, and they still have a sense of victory inside themselves. Uh, the term 100 days was used to describe the success and enthusiasm portrayed by FDR uh, during the beginning of his presidency. Uh, the new vision of modern president was bold, daring, aggressive, a uh, president with big visions and goals. Uh, FDR worked very hard to try and reverse depression. Roosevelt made many changes to the way things worked. He changed America in many different ways. From agriculture to repairing bridges, he was an excellent example of a modern president. One of his programs, FERA, provided grants to states where the money was running low. The Civil Works Administration was later added as a branch operation. Another program that he created, the Agricultural Adjustment Act, was made to stabilize and raise prices for, them, uh, for farm produce. The Civilization Conservation Corps, the CCC, employed young men to take care of the earth. They were known as Roosevelt's Tree Army. Works Progress Administration was a program where young men were hired to repair bridges, public buildings, and roads. The CCC was a very important program designed to give people jobs. Many roads were built due to it, and also parks, trails, and other places that bring back to the people. It was mostly designed to combat unemployment, which it did very well. This plan worked exactly the way that they expected it to work. President Roosevelt brought relief in economic ways to the public by fixing banking systems and bringing money to poor areas like the Tennessee Dam. The Emergency Banking Act was created to make sure banks were legal and fit to open. Inspections were done to, in order to assure this. National Industrial Recovery Act was when private firms were paid to construct major public works like airports, dams, bridges, warships, schools, and hospitals. Tennessee Valley Authority created dams on the Tennessee River to create hydroelectricity and to bring tourism and money to that area when it led to some flooding. Resettlement Administration and Farm Security Administration provided loans to help farmers relocate to better land. President Roosevelt initiated a lot of programs to help make the American life a better way of life. Uh, the Truth and Securities Act was made to provide the public with truthful, truthful information about companies' stocks. The Glass-Steagall Act was made to let the government regulate speculation done by banks with investors' money. The FDIC was later made to protect investors' money. <coughs> The National Industrial Recovery Act was created in order to make every business have standard regarding have a standard regarding minim, minimum wage, max work week, and to and to prohibit child labor. Securities and Exchange Commission was made to watch over the stocks and trading. National Labor Relations Board let workers from un form unions safely. Social Security Act was for assisting the elderly, unemployed, and handicapped citizens in creating a pension for citizens over 65. The Fair Labor Standards Act was created to establish minimum wage, max work week, and to prohibit child labor again. Discrimination against women was also a big part of the reforms that FDR pushed, uh, pushed for. The new relief and employment programs were ordered not to discriminate on the basis of race. People who ran this brought their own types of prejudices. Blacks were also excluded from lots of benefits. Women were also excluded a lot. The CCC did not include women, and the WPA did not offer jobs to many women. Boo, women stink! That was Mr. Torzani. <laughs> NYA started to admit women on an equal basis. The NYA also stated that they were not racist in any way. Roosevelt did many things like the fireside chat, uh, alphabet soup, and, and ending the gold standard. The fireside chats, uh, where he spoke directly from the White House to the people, and he promised a new deal, and Roosevelt did whatever he could to reassure the people and let them know that he was doing everything that he could to help 
them and help the country get out of the depression. The alphabet soup was when prices rose, stocks and production began to, began to recover, and the FERA began distributing relief funds to states and cities, and the CCC offered immediate uh, employment to young men. Ending the gold standard was when Roosevelt tried to get things moving. He allowed money to be printed even though there was no gold to make the money worth anything. It was used to prime the pump, as many people said, or to get things going. It was designed to try and pull everyone out of the depression and help businesses and other corporations get out of uh, low times and to give them enough money to to keep doing what they were doing because that's what they were trying to do in the first place and that's why they needed money and that's why the government gave them money so they could keep doing what they were trying to do.